Welcome to your summarized version of your 2020 annual reading. Thank you so much for your patience. I know it's been hard on you guys. You know, you've been waiting. <laughs> the mutable signs have been dead last, okay, for December. But hey, I'm knocking them out. I'm knocking them out. And Sagittarius and Pisces, you are up next. I'll be releasing those um, over the weekend and then on you know, Monday I'll likely put out Sagittarius and Tuesday I'll do um, Pisces, okay? But getting to your reading, Virgo, wow, very interesting reading. Um, lot of blues and greens here, do you notice that? A lot of air and water, which is thinking, communications and emotions. Not a lot of earth, you see, one earth, and then we get a lot of fire at the end of the year. And there were some very standout things about this spread, very, you know, interesting synchronicities I picked up on. You had a two king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius showing up. Um, and Aries showed up twice as well um, in this spread, but, you know, right out the gate in January and... Even in November, we've got the King of Wands showing up for you. And then you have Justice. Uh, so it might be a Libra or a legal situation. And interestingly, that happens the second month of the first part of the year. And then um, again, the second month of the second part of the year. So some of you, if this is not about a Libra or a legal situation, it's about you getting balance in your life and making sure that your emotional needs are being met. And I saw that as a general theme throughout this reading, okay? And I've even recently did, you know, private reading for a Virgo, and I got the similar message, like, you got to make sure that your emotional needs are getting met. That's really key um, for what I'm seeing with Virgos. And you did get two towers in the first half of uh, this year um, right out the gate in January, which honestly, I think coming into January, you already know what it is. By the way, I put that in the reverse, okay? I think that there's already been a separation or a fallout, possibly, you know, with this fire sign or somebody you're very passionate about. For others of you, it will be about a business, okay? But you already know what it is. And I put this in the reverse because I want you to heal. And I'm praying over you that you guys heal from whatever this is. Something was not built on a solid foundation. I see this tower showing up yet again by the um, end of this first half of the year in June. And I really was clarifying, like, what is this? And I think it has to do with... Um, your romantic life, okay? I And I get a lot of twists and turns in the road with your romantic life. I'll talk about that in a moment. But what's really, really highlighted, you had the high priestess show up three times, okay? So there's, there's secrecy going on. There's um, clandestine relationships. If you're like, that's not me, okay? If you're married and you have a relationship, well, it's almost like the two of you are living separate lives. And I even got some cards by the end of this year. Some of you, if you're in a relationship, it's like the two of you are not, not having sex, okay? Um, the high priestess is very much about a single card, okay? It's about being single and alone. And if you're not single and alone, then there is a general air of this, a feeling of you are being alone because maybe you're having to pull back and do a bit of introspection. And I really see the introspection having a lot to do with you getting clarity and healing on an issue of why you've been deeply dissatisfied. Okay. There's some kind of habit that you, a routine that you need to fight. There's, it might be a pattern with the, the tower cards, a pattern of relating and it might be having it might have to do with your own health and well-being okay your overall well-being in life there's some truth that needs to come out about this and healing it because whatever this habit is is something that worries you it stresses you out it gives you anxiety it's caused you to lose sleep at night 
And whatever this is, it needs the truth about it needs to come out this year. And I think you are going to heal it because this is blessing. I got to say this at your foundation. This trumps everything. All right. This is overriding any kind of negativity like with the tower cards a secret might come out but it's going to be for your good and i did see a lot of secrecy in this spread but if a secret comes out it will be used for your good and it will be used to bring you healing but getting into the spread in january you know i see you come in with some kind of separation, sorrow, heartbreak. It might have been a three-party dynamic. Definitely disloyalty going on here. I'm putting it in the reverse for you because I want you to heal from this. Um, again, I'm kind of seeing some betrayal, some deception with the tower clarifying that. And, um, it, you know, something was not built on a solid foundation with either this fire sign or this very somebody you're very passionate about they could be like a business leader an entrepreneur on the work front you know it might be with a boss okay um the different messages for different people and if you you want more clarity into the finances and the money and the health and all of that you know it's on vimeo um and I have to remind you, and most of you know that this is a general reading going out to thousands. Therefore, it is not going to resonate like a private reading because the cards were not drawn specific to you and only you, right? So you have to take what resonates, discard what doesn't. The good news about this bad energy I think that you're coming into this year with is, um, or I should just say challenging. I don't want to say bad. It can all be used for your good. Um, the good news about this challenging energy is that by February, I do see you happy in some respect um, and maybe getting more balance restored back into your life where maybe you were juggling things or going, looking at two different options. And again, it might be about a soul contract or um, trying to meet up with somebody who um, you, you want to reconcile with. Okay. Um, but I do see weighing things out. I see a lot of weighing like this. Okay. Two options, two locations, two choices you're having to adapt to change. Yet I do see happiness here, uh, for you and getting balance back to your life is really key. Um, well, what's key to that is, making sure that your emotional needs are met with the seven of earth. I think you're really persevering, but you are looking back and evaluating the things that were misdirected, got out of control, didn't get forward movement. I really feel it's your energy, um, really using, um, your assets to your advantage and really looking at how you can bring stability and security to a situation where there wasn't, um, there wasn't forward movement. So you're deep in thought um, during March. And then in April with a page of water, you could be giving or getting an apology might in involve a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, might be a child, someone under 30. I do feel uh, like the apology might have to do with a stalemate. And if someone comes back and apologizes, it might be in word only I because uh, I'm kind of almost seeing like there's a line of excuses here, a rationale of I'm sorry, um, I didn't make a decision for you because um, things were just not in my favor. Things were out of my control and it could also simply be um, somebody just saying, I, I'm sorry, I couldn't make the decision because I didn't feel confident in my decision that it was going to work out. And then by um, May, I can see you getting some breakthrough and awareness. Now, in the previous month, pay attention to your intuition because I got some messages on Vimeo that some of you are ignoring your intuition, you're not paying attention to it. So again, somebody might come back and apologize and it might get your hopes up, but then it's stuck. Or they, the way they get forward movement is like, yes, let's resume a relationship. However, I don't wanna go public with this as of yet 
because I got a lot, like two high priestesses clarifying this. So you might be waiting on somebody patiently to come back, waiting on change to happen within them for a love partner to make a key decision um, to get breakthrough and victory and awareness and all of that. You might, something might come to your awareness intuitively, okay? You might realize something, but again, I see so much secrecy like, if you have come back together, there's still a level of stuckness and secrecy in this relationship for some reason. And I do see in June, here we are with this romantic offer, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and maybe somebody a little, you know, charming coming in, offering to support you and protect and bring security. Yet I see this tower situation again where it's not on solid ground and that might get communicated in writing and it seems to be a very private message and really a lot of emotion here regarding this situation of, of somebody seemingly to communicate with or cooperate with you or they're collaborating with you, yet something's still not on solid ground. And then getting into July with the high priestess, well, the secrets continue and your need to really be introspective and look into your own intuition is really going to be necessary. If this is, especially if this is a clandestine relationship, let me warn you, if there is a clandestine relationship going on, part of this tower situation could be that the secrets about that come out. Somebody's trying to keep it hush hush, but it ends up coming out anyway. But remember what I said, whatever gets revealed, whatever truth gets revealed in the broad daylight is meant to heal you, not hurt you. Okay. Um, but back to July, I think this has to do with um, either an Aquarius or an Aries. And it could for some of you simply be that you're doing a lot of introspective work about feeling a lack of wish fulfillment, a lack of hope. Some of you have held on to a fantasy. Um, that is just, it, it was a way of avoiding a difficult reality. You were possibly dealing with somebody who was being careless, frivolous, and that's why it's just never had any chance of working out because this person is not about building a solid foundation uh, from which to build onto, you know, so that you could actualize your aspirations. I see for some of you also, that if you're still hanging on to this fantasy, you're trying to detach from reality and the, the energy is really pushing you to tune back in to spirit. In August, Queen of Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, this is a very empathic, intuitive energy. Yet again, it might be that you're trying to heal. Um, this is a feminine quality. This is like the ideal wife or mother. Okay. Somebody is trying to heal, um, a situation, but again, the healing is going to be through getting fairness, balance, justice, equilibrium on an emotional, in an emotional respect. Okay. But I think there have been some biting words and criticism between two people, particularly during this month by this month, you know, criticism about somebody not delivering promises, not following through. They can't do what they say. They can't back the words up with action. So uh, you could be working on trying to heal this issue. But again, the healing, the pathway to healing is by making sure that your emotional needs are being met in whatever relationships you have, does that guarantee that this other person is going to cooperate with you? No. It removes the uncooperatives out of your life so you can make way for the cooperatives. It's really that simple. But if you're dead set on this one particular person and making it work with them, and that turns out to be a pipe dream, be grounded, okay? Be grounded. Use your intuition is what I'm seeing. I do see by September you're moving on and you're breaking free of the toxicity. It might have to do with a Capricorn 
or a Gemini or an Aries again, but I see it has to do with this uh, past way of relating in your partnerships where you're having to break free from these toxic attachments and really get your power back. And I do see as soon as the following month in October, you have an opportunity for new love, for renewal, spiritual growth. This is really lovely energy here with the Ace of Water. And it might also be fertility for some of you. I do see a, a mother energy here, Aries as well. And some of you could, if you're wanting to get pregnant, this might be the month that you do it. Now, for others of you, you're getting growth and expansion spiritually. And you're deciding to use this energy for your own spiritual growth. Others of you, however, um, are still, it's either you or someone around you is refusing to do some self-examination, okay? And for that reason, not able to break free of the past. And I got a couple storylines that if you are partnered with somebody where the two of you have both had the same you know, nasty habit that you need to break away from. Let's say it's drinking every Friday night, you know, or I don't know, you know, doing meth, you know, or you, you met them in rehab and both of you relapse. I mean, I don't know. I'm speaking to so many people, okay? But one of you decides, let, we're going to drop this. The other one doesn't. Or some of you, um, you know, if it's just you alone, it might be that, that you've made up your mind, you're going to stop it. Uh, you actually quit doing it. Physically, you quit doing it. But in your heart of hearts, you still need, still need to heal from the core reason as to why you keep going back. Like, as you know, you need to stop. And to some degree, you have, but there's still that something spiritually that needs to get healed. And so I do see a lot of opportunity for growth and healing in this particular month. And I see also a lot of, um, even though this fire is coming into play, the astrologically, there's a lot of fourth house activity coming up at the tail end of this month, where it seems you're more focused on family, home and family during this time. Now, I mean, you might have a lot of, um, love interests, potential suitors coming in, you know, showing interest in you, but I do see some pushback and defensiveness, maybe having to do with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and or a Queen of Swords, air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and I feel one person here wants to be committed, the other person is coming across as alone and difficult, and so it's going to be different things for different people, but by the end of this year with the emperor could be a Aries masculine energy boss father figure definitely see you getting back more control over your life but it might be by you know um, bringing some separation between you and another person where there's necessary separation in order to bring change and I think it's because of doubts doubts and suspicions that are just going on in the background and you, you you know if you're separated from someone during december of 2020 it's because you're trying to restore order in your life where there's been disorder and um if you're if you're not sleeping with your partner during this time it might be that you it's because you have doubts that need to be dealt with now I got a lot of um, oracle advice on Vimeo, but let me let me draw a couple cards for you real quick because I forgot to do it on Vimeo. <sighs> oh, I'm having a crazy day, but I wanted to get this done. I want to get this done. I want to get these out to you because I know y'all been waiting long enough. So, wow. Bunch just about dropped in my lap. Let me try this again. For Virgo in 2020, what does Virgo need to know? Beetle, good fortune. Yeah, with the sun card at the foundation. Muddled, unclear thinking. Ooh, yeah, I can kind of see that with um, the nine of swords. All right, let's see what else we get here. May. Oh, what about May? I'm going further. You piqued my interest. What about May? Cracked cup, uh-oh, dissatisfaction with life. Well, there you go. That's four of chalices, dis dissatisfaction with life. And where's May here? Right here, okay? So 
I think you're left on hold waiting. You're waiting for some changes to happen, um, for somebody to make a very important decision in a matter of your heart, in the matter of your heart, okay? I'm not even speaking right anymore, forgive me. But yeah, I'm definitely seeing um, that if you use your intuition, you're going to realize how to turn this around, okay? How to put this back together, whatever is cracked up and fallen apart. You're going to get some, I'm hearing wisdom key for victory, breakthrough. I'm hearing aha moment, okay? It might come by way of you being dissatisfied, waiting around. And again, you might not like it. Like sometimes I don't like the way spirit does stuff. And I'm like, really? That was rude. You couldn't come up with a nicer way to give me that reality check. <laughs> and sometimes spirit will talk back to me like, yeah. I mean, think about it. <laughs> Could you, you weren't going to leave that unless we made it abundantly clear that it was totally dead, right? And I'm like, oh, oh. But anyway, you know what? I, whatever it is, I really feel that Spirit is with you and showing you um, the truth that helps bring you into healing. And I think this is going to be a big year of you breaking bad habits that have blocked your blessings, so if you want to know more depth and detail and you want to get the oracle advice along with the astrology, it is over on Vimeo. And I hope you will join me. If you're interested, the link will be down below. Until next time, wishing you all the best, Virgo. Be blessed. Mm -hmm.